What's going on guys? I am Matthias. This is my beautiful wife and there is my adorable daughter chilling in that little thing right there. You know what's funny actually is that if you if you if you don't really think about it too much, she kind of looks a little bit like a blobfish. And I think that's adorable. In the nicest way possible. You know like the the blobfish cartoon, blobfish evolution cartoon. I don't know. It's super cute. It's not Team Edge day today. This is just a random Team Edge shirt. Today Today is an organization day, okay? It is all about organization because right now our kitchen is not organized at all. But uh, tell me, tell me what your organization methods are in this kitchen. It was organized. Oh, okay. Okay, but no, tell me, tell me your methods right now that exist right now. What, do you, what kind of methods? What are you about? See, you don't have one. We need organization methods because. We have a new addition to the family, which means we have all this stuff accumulating and nowhere to put it. And everything just ends up on our counter. And clutter. Well, and clutter also, clutter in your house clutters your mind. Also, it ends up on my counter because I just set it there because I don't have enough time to actually put it away because, you know, mm -hmm. it just takes a lot of time. Yeah, I hear that. So then when I do have time, I usually end up taking a nap. I hear that. Also, I tomorrow is my last day on these meds, which I'm so <laughs> excited about. Honestly, I don't know if they're doing anything, sadly. I don't know if they did yeah, anything. Kind of a pessimist. What? No, no, I'm not a pessimist. What? She just called me a pessimist, guys. Sometimes. You're not really like not. You don't know what a pessimist is if you think I'm a pessimist. I know what a pessimist. Okay, guys, let me know down in the comments. Like, do you think I'm a pessimist or Sometimes an optimist? You can be, but Sometimes, <laughs> fine, fine. I will, I will agree with you, just, just so I can make you happy, which inadvertently makes me an optimist. Huh? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> okay, so seriously though, what, are, what's the first plan of action? First plan of action is to make you coffee. Yes, to make me coffee, to make me coffee. Tesla gave me this mug, kind of cool. Hey, you bought a really expensive car from us. How about a mug as a free gift? <laughs> all right, no, first of all, we, we do have a little bit of organization here. As you can see, this looks not bad, all right? This is where we change her and everything like that. A bunch of viewers gave us a lot of extra stuff, but as you can see over here too, we have tons of like baby stuff, and then there's baby stuff over there, and then, a man is always leaving food like chips and stuff out because our chip door is so full because she loves chips. So we need to have like maybe a little bit extra there's room actually, devoted to chips. There's actually no chips in there. Okay. No, look, there's no chips. Okay. 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 No, let's do this. Let's let's look. Let's actually look if there's no chips. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, but none of those chips I bought. Okay. Okay. So first thing I found, chips. Those these aren't are for me. These are chips. So Jay Fred gave us those. These are chips. These are chips. Yeah, but these are also. Those are chips. Those are chips. Those are chips. I mean these crackers. Are all tortilla chips. I don't eat the tortilla chips. Oh, there's more chips right there. Those aren't mine. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. Babe, I just saw Takis in there. Yeah, you gave those to me when I was pregnant and then I stopped eating them. You don't like them anymore? Uh, I went out of my way. You know, well, you bought me like 8 or 12 bags. And yeah, I know. Half of I don't know if you guys remember a while back, those were some of Amanda's favorite chips ever and they're like so hard to find. So I like went online and like it was actually really hard to find those things. And then I think I ate them and then threw them up and then I stopped eating them. Oh, you threw them up? I didn't know you threw them up. Yeah, have you ever have you ever done that? It's not it's not fun. Like I've done that where it's like you love this food and then like inadvertently because e either you're sick or whatever else, other reason you throw up and then you never want that food again even though that food had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I hear that. Oh, look who's awake. Look who is awake. Yeah, she's awake over here. Hey, girly. What you doing? Seems like this thing is scaring her. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart. You think you'd be able to fall back asleep? Don't stick your tongue out of daddy. We are off to Target. We because to we Target. are reorganizing the kitchen and we're going to get hey, some baby. organizational stuff. Baby's ready. <laughs> baby's ready. I'm not. Look at me. I'll get ready in the car. But how, off we how go. How old is baby now? Baby is two weeks old today. Two weeks old! Two weeks old today! Two weeks old today! How fun! 
All right, we're here at Target and we're getting, actually our car is so completely many people. full. Yeah, it's yeah. Saturday. We are just getting a bunch of organizational stuff. Look at all of this. We kind of went a little crazy. Well, we, we have a big kitchen. We have a ton of cupboards. And right we now. have Things no there, no know? organization whatsoever. She's doing so good, too. You just she's jinxed my, it. She's my little pterodactyl. All her noises, she's like... <laughs> I think she gets that from me because I'll just randomly start, I don't know, making really weird high-pitched noises. Yeah, why don't you switch? <laughs> Which is it? funny, yeah. You okay. push the baby. She's a lot lighter than this. <laughs> yes, and it's a lot easier to push this thing than it is the cart. We got back from Target. I played Brian in a little uh, Call of Duty. And then, uh, as you can see, we've got a huge mess going on over here. It's trying to... Well, it's getting better, yeah. Trying to organize everything, trying to come up with a game plan. As you can see, where you're starting to sort all of the snack food. <laughs> Look how much crap we have in this house. But, I mean, it looks, I mean, we're gonna, obviously this all goes back into this area and stuff like that. But I'm trying to make, uh, trying to make some sense of this mess, pretty much. I like getting things organized because I'm more productive and I know where things go and I don't have to, like, worry about, I don't know, sometimes, like, when things don't have places to go, you kind of just leave them out. You know what I mean? And I hate that. I want to solve that, but there's not, there's not really a way that you can always solve that because there always is a miscellaneous drawer and I hate that drawer, right? But you can't get rid of that, but it's always going to be Yeah, there. you can't get rid of it. You can't sort everything. That's just the sad truth. That is sorting it. Yeah, technically. It's now 8 o'clock, which means Amanda has breastfed Luna and went up to bed. And currently, it's my job from like 8 to 11 to take care of Luna so that Amanda can go to sleep because Amanda needs her sleep. She hasn't, well, she has been getting a lot more sleep because we've been doing this. We've been doing this thing where I like, hopefully Amanda gets to bed by like 7.30 or 8 and then I bring Luna up at like, um, you know, 11.30 or 12, you know, once in between so maybe she can like get like four or five hours of sleep like undisturbed because I don't know, she has a tendency to, she has a tendency to like, you know, obviously hear Luna and not really sleep that deep when Luna's in the room. So that's why I'm down here just chilling, getting some extra work done, hopefully allowing her to get some extra sleep so that she's well rested and not overwhelmed consistently throughout the day. But as you can see, <laughs> we didn't get that far. We, we got, we got decently far. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's new. It's a new challenge. Luna is, is definitely a new challenge. It's it's really interesting, you know? It's really interesting to uh, try and find some type of new normal, you know? That's psych, by the way. Everyone freaks out. There's always, like, some type of TV show, like, on <laughs> on there that everyone's like, oh my gosh, you watched that show? Yes, we watched Psych. This is, like, my third time watching Psych. <laughs> it's more, more or less on the background at this point. Oh, 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 and... Oh, perfect. Look at that. I almost forgot. I absolutely almost forgot that I put in nachos right before I started vlogging. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Perfect. Well, they're not perfect. They're not great. They're okay. They're made by me, which means they're okay. I don't think they're fully melted. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. What are you going to do? You know, I can't make everything to the level that Amanda makes, so I'll, I'll just never be able to eat because I'll just be consistently trying and trying and trying and failing. No, I'm just kidding. Now I uh, try and relax and uh, try and rest myself. I don't need as much sleep as Amanda. I can go to bed at 12 and wake up at 6, but when she does that, you know, and as well as she has to get up during the night and breastfeed, I don't have to do that. So we find that this allows us both to be rested so that we can properly take care of that little girl over there. She's doing good. She's doing okay. She's doing good. She's so funny. I call her my little pterodactyl because she makes the silliest noises. I don't know if we've caught them on camera, but they're like seriously like pterodactyl screeches, what I imagine a pterodactyl would sound like. They're just like, and they're not screeches in like terms of like her being sad or crying out. It's just like thing, noises that she makes when she's like deep in sleep. She'll just be like, like, I'm like, what? I, I mean, I don't know if all babies do that, but she does these weirdest, like, screeches and barks <laughs> when she's sleeping. It's really funny. But anyways, guys, I'm disappointed with how these nachos look. That cheese, there's something weird that that cheese looks like. I don't know. I'm gonna eat it anyways. 
<laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. High five.